Boxing Scene put out this article the other day. Team Jerome Ennis is urging Terence Crawford and his team to pick up the phone and call them to make a fight if the Earl Spence rematch is off for good. And it's looking more and more likely that this fight, uh, meaning this rematch with Earl Spence, isn't going to happen. Because, first of all, Errol Spence has been silent since the first uh, fight, fight ended. And I've noticed even a lot of Errol Spence fans have been disappointed with this because they said, well, they don't like when a lot of their fighters go silent and kind of leave their fans hanging. The way that Errol Spence was always very vocal about getting all the bouts, and now that he's lost, he suddenly went a bit quiet. I mean, not as bad as... Not as much as Deontay Wilder did, but still. It was uncharacteristic for Errol Spence. And then he just pops up out of nowhere and posts videos of him in hospital saying that the reason why he got beaten up the way he did is because of one of his eyes was closed, the one that uh, was it, that he injured earlier um, a couple of years ago before the Pacquiao fight, which never happened, and saying that he also had a rib injury. I mean, all this crazy stuff, and it's just started looking a bit sad, really. So it's looking like that fight is off for good. Now, Terence Crawford hasn't shown a ton of interest in fighting. Jerron uh, Ennis, he's basically been saying what Canelo Alvarez has been saying about David Benavidez, that the critics and the fans are always moving the goalposts. They say, well, fight this guy and we'll prove you're not scared prove that you want to fight the best, and he does it, then they say, oh, well, fight this guy then. You know, that classic th thing that a lot of fans do. And he does kind of have a point because, first of all, there are, it's not up for debate that Jerron Ennis was offered the Terence Crawford fight by BLK Prime. It's a, This is an article from last year, well before the Errol Spence fight happened, and yeah, Jerron Ennis rejected the fight because of loyalty to Showtime, and he said down here, and again, this is from Three Kings Boxing, you can find it very easily, he said that they, that I never signed nothing with Showtime, but my word is my bond, so talking about the three-fight deal he had, etc, etc. So, Terence Crawford looks at that and says, this guy, who everybody's saying I'm scared of, everybody's saying I need to beat him in order to be great, he was offered the fight with me and didn't take it, so why should I rush to fight him? And, you know, that's all up for debate, whether you think uh, Crawford should take it or not. It's One thing's for sure is that the IBF did jump the gun in stripping Terence Crawford because... Legally, he didn't have an he didn't really have an option other than to wait for Errol Spence to enforce the rematch clause because that's the those are the the clauses that they signed. So for the IBF to strip him before he could even make a decision about whether he was going to defend or not, it's unfortunately one of the most disappointing things about boxing. I mean, I mean when um when Alexander Usyk takes on Tyson Fury. No belts will be stripped until after the fight finishes. And with them, you can kind of understand it because the belts, unfortunately, have been defended once a year. I know Tyson Fury fought twice, technically, in 2022, but the Derek Chisora fight was a meaningless fight. Um, but Usyk has three of the belts, and they've been defended once a year since they were won. And... You know, when Brian Mendoza and Jamel Charlo fought for Undisputed, amazingly, Jamel Charlo was able to hold on to all the belts. And Ter and Canelo Alvarez, of course, was able to not get stripped of any of the belts, but he's the golden child, so <laughs> no real surprises there. Uh, whereas with Terence Crawford, it will be a shame once he finally got out of that top rank deal and was able to fight... The, the best or the the other number one guy in the division in Errol Spence, it will be a shame if he doesn't fight any of the other well, top welterweights because welterweight has been pretty stale over the last few years, let's be real. And now that it turns out the best guy was out of show, was outside of Showtime where all of the fights were happening under PBC, now he's crossed over 
it will just be a shame if he fights one guy, yes, it was Errol Spence, but doesn't fight an uppercomer like Jerron Ennis. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. But I can't, off the top of my head, I cannot hate on Terence Crawford because Jerron Ennis was offered the fight and he said no. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think down below. Catch you later.